an unpopular opinion, but wait, no, actually a popular opinion among my viewers, Wrath of Lich King Classic sucks, and this is the biggest reason why I don't play it as my go-to. GTOPHunder.com is the video sponsor, by the way. A friend of mine messaged me over a week ago that he's coming back to WoW after a year of not playing. He used to play TBC Classic and he wanted to come back and play Wrath of Lich King Classic with me. So we talked and I asked him, what server are you on? We're both from EU so at least that's not a problem. Unfortunately he's playing on a different server, so one of us would have to transfer servers. It costs 25 euros to transfer a single character between servers. I already chose to play on Earthshaker because another friend played there. Guess what? He quit before I hit level 80 two months ago. So now I'm on a server where I don't know anybody and have nobody to play with. And any other person I would play with is only one girlfriend away from quitting and leaving me alone once again. So although there is the option to pay for the character transfer, the cost adds up. Okay, an issue we could solve, but my next question was, what faction do you play? I am Alliance, a human paladin, and this friend turned out to be a horde priest. This, unfortunately, is something we can do nothing about. There is no option to change factions on Classic. And there is no cross-faction on Classic either, despite it being on Dragonflight. So the only option how the two of us could play together is leveling from scratch. EU and NA servers, multiple servers within given region, 21 US and 25 EU realms, two factions. What do you think the chances are that you and your friends will play on the same server same faction. Pretty slim. I don't understand why there's still no cross-faction and cross-server play on Classic. Shortly after this discussion we've gotten the news about cross-realm arenas and BGs coming to Wrath of Lich King Classic. No specific date and only cross-realm, no cross-faction. So you still have to play either Alliance or Horde depending on who you want to play with. It's a step in the right direction, but does Classic really offer that much more compared to Warmain's Wrath of Lich King where there are way less restrictions? Even with Classic not having arena teams, which is a huge change and I was really happy when I heard about it, it's still not enough to persuade me leveling another character on the other faction on x1 raids. This is my biggest problem with Wrath of Lich King Classic, that you are so restricted to playing with a limited amount of people and that you can't play with most of your friends or whoever you feel like playing with. I don't see a reason for these artificial barriers to be in the game, especially that even Blizzard recognized it last year and removed them on their latest expansion. That being said, I still like Wrath of Lich King Classic. It's far from perfect, but it offers other things that the original Wrath of Lich King doesn't. That's why I keep going back and forth between Wrath of Lich King private servers and Wrath of Lich King Classic. I would have been happy if I could just focus on let's say Wrath of Lich King Classic and that's it. But it's just not that simple. I'm not willing to give up on playing with people I want to play with. Fortunately we have places which help us looking for private servers, like this channel for example, or gtop100.com which is a website with World of Warcraft private servers and information about them, so you can choose the right one for yourself. Thanks for sponsoring the content.